throw in a little bit more shoulder work. Um, we can either work on scapular stability, we can work on shoulder strength, but doing all these things in a side plank position. So you can use a band or you can use something like a cable, just bring that column down in the bottom position. You can also do this in the modified plank, side plank, where we have knee and forearm, or the full position. So your three movements, you can either execute a basic row, or we can go with a rear band pull, or we can maintain nice bent shoulder blades and go through a sweeping action of the shoulder. So with that sweeping action, as you sweep your arm up, you need to actively try to sink that shoulder blade down so that we don't end up riding the shoulder around the ear. We're gonna get as much of that bent lower trap recruitment as possible as we move to an overhead position and back down. Now, as you come up, you start to feel a pinching or a binding on the front side of your shoulder. That's it as far as range. You come on back down. What we don't want to do is pinch the rotator cuff and the bicep tendon going up. So, make sure you're in a nice solid plank position first. Then execute a row pinching your shoulder blades. Separate, pinch the shoulder blades with a straight arm, basically a T. Or you can go into your scapular sweeps where we're focusing on keeping the shoulder blades in one position as you go through a sweeping motion.